Hi, I'm Mark Wilson. I'm the owner and creative director of MWD Lifestyles. We're an event planning, production, and floral design studio based out of Manhattan in Brooklyn. And we also do international, uh, we have an international uh, destination wedding business as well. Hi, I'm Kim Kirkley. I tell love stories for a living. My website is OurElegantCeremony.com. I've been declared the officiant by New York Magazine. My name is Deborah Harbay. I am the owner and creative director of OM Inc. right on Atlantic Avenue, 503. Not only do we do amazing hair, we have a wonderful product line that's natural, vegan, and organic. In terms of um, the scale of how weddings are going during this wedding season in New York and Brooklyn, um, it's kind of all over the place. People are spending a lot of money and then some people are not spending very much money at all. Some people are doing DIY weddings. Um, it's, it's a little bit all over, the, all over the spectrum. It has a lot to do with the economic standard of each, in, each individual and you know, uh, in terms of, you guys want to know in terms of dressing and, and floral design and decor, people are, there's, there's three camps now that's happened in the last few years. There's a camp where people are doing 300 plus people for their weddings. Then there's a camp which is the standard, which is they're doing about 120 to 125 guests, which is pretty much the norm today. And then there's, you know, when you're dealing with same sex couples, they're doing a much more personal type of wedding where they're doing more like just their 50 or 60 guests or even sometimes 25 guests where they're just making it much, much more personal and, and simpler. And that's a, that sometimes can fall into the DIY uh, category of wedding design. I'm seeing weddings, much like Mark said, all over the place. There is an increased uh, interest in destinations that really look like Brooklyn. So on the Brooklyn Bridge, at Brooklyn Bridge Park, a lot of, um, I call them elopement ceremonies, which generally means they're just having maybe 10 or 20 guests and then there are the weddings where 100 200 guests at somewhere like the palm house i see that brooklyn is really becoming a worldwide destination and it's fun for me to greet and celebrate people from all over the world deborah how do you see trends happening as far as you're located on atlantic avenue at one point, Atlantic Avenue was dead. Can you talk about how dead Atlantic Avenue was and what does the stadium bring to the tape? Do you think that attracts more people? It makes it cooler? Just talk to us about that. Okay. Um, speak loud. <coughs> the stadium, you know, we have the wonderful Barclay Stadium now. Um, and we're not far from the Barclay Stadium. We're two blocks from it. So we do see the um, residue of people coming from the stadium going to the stadium and the excitement and location wise you know by the stadium every um, mode of transportation is there so you know um, in addition to having that you know Atlantic Avenue is the destination for brides whether you're getting your gown whether you're getting your flowers whether you're getting uh, a venue you're looking for a venue and of course if you're looking for hair we have that as well um, at I think this summer, there was, or the spring, there was two bridal shows that happened mm -hmm. in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about those? We wanted to, on Atlantic Avenue, we wanted to let people know that Atlantic Avenue is a destination for wedding. And so we had a wonderful uh, bridal show, and it showcased the venue, it showcased the different uh, designers that showcased their dresses for women and for, uh, you know, suits for men. And then we had caterers as well, and we had salons that participated. So it was really um, quite an awesome event. Interestingly enough, if we're going to just if we're going to go back a little bit to same-sex weddings, is the after party are are just throwing much more of a casual affair instead of a sit down. I know that we're getting a lot of clients, a lot of couples that are coming in saying that we don't want a traditional ceremony or a traditional sit down dinner. We want to have a party. We want to celebrate the moment. We want to celebrate our lives together. So we're creating a lot of lounges and and, and kind of kind of um, what do we want to call? It? We'll call them um, roving, roaming long-lasting cocktail parties that which is kind of a more cutting-edge way of doing doing it now I'm seeing more and more couples really focusing on the ceremony and being willing to pay a premium for the 
ceremony because they know that this is probably the only time in their lives where the words that are said will create a new family. All these new connections and they want to be able to honor their birth family and the family they're gaining as well as their community and so they're looking for custom tailored ceremonies that help them to be like who they really are on their wedding day. What I've noticed the trend Still is you have clients who now want to experience being a true self. And what I mean by that is that you have clients that no longer want to love the way they hear last. You have clients that are never clients now where they are expressing themselves through the way the twist, an afro, a curly do. You know, they want to you express their true selves, what is who they down to the hair. Lifestyles.com. Kim Kirkley, OurElegantCeremony.com. I am a modern minister, all faiths officiant, and wedding celebrant. Just oh, you can find me online is the best place, OurElegantCeremony.com, and you can give me a call, 718-753-1993. I'm Deborah Hairbay, my store is the Aura Store. Same. We also Not have a salon the Aura Store, Red Room, Lux Salon. We're located at 563 and Lincoln Avenue. Our hours are Tuesday to Saturday, 7. And our phone number is 718 856 Website is my heavenly hair. I'm battered and warm. Our love has been torn. You fought for my heart. You fought for my heart.